The Outlaw Josie Wales Movie Review Clint Eastwood directed and starred as Josie Wells in The Outlaw Josie Wales released in 1976 is an American revisionist western film set during and after the American Civil War. Dan George, Sandra Locke, Sam Bottoms and Geraldine Keynes were also starred with Eastwood. The film tells the story of Josie Wells, a Missouri farmer who was killed by Union soldiers during the Civil War. Seeking revenge, Wales joins a Confederate guerrilla band and makes a name for himself as a fearsome gunfighter. After the battle, all the soldiers in Wales's group accept and surrender to Union officers, but are massacred. Wells is an outlaw pursued by bounty hunters and Union soldiers as he tries to make a new life for himself. Josie Wales, a Missouri farmer, is driven to revenge by the murder of his wife and young son by a band of redlegs, a unit of pro-Union Jayhawker militants from Senator James H. Lane's Kansas Brigade, led by the brutal Captain Terrell. After grieving and burying his wife and son, Wales took part in attacks on Union sympathizers and military units. He practices shooting before joining a group of pro-Confederate Missouri bushwhackers led by Anderson. At the end of the war, Josie's friend and superior, Captain Fletcher, persuades the guerrillas to surrender, and Senator Lane offers them amnesty if they surrender their weapons. Wales refuses to surrender, and as a result, he and a young gorilla named Jamie are the only survivors as Terrell's red legs slaughter the surrenderers. Wales intervenes and wipes out several red legs with a Gatling gun, escaping with Jamie, who is shot to death after helping Josie kill two bounty hunters. Lane forces a reluctant Fletcher to help Terrell find his friend attracting the attention of Union soldiers and bounty hunters who want to hunt him down with a $5,000 bounty on his head. Along the way, despite his aversion to traveling with company, Wales collects a variety of companions. Among them was Lon Waddy, an old Cherokee man, Little Moonlight, a young Navajo girl, Sarah Turner, an old woman from Kansas, and his granddaughter Laura Lee, whom Wales and Little Moonlight rescue from a group of marauding Comancheros. Josie and Laura later sleep together, as do Lone Wadi and Little Moonlight. In the town of Santa Rio, the group is joined by Travis and Chato, who work for Sarah Turner's dead son Tom. Wales and his companions find an abandoned farm once owned by Tom and settle there. Travis and Chato were soon captured by Dan Pierce, a feared Comanche chieftain. Wales enters the Ten Bears' camp, negotiates peace with him, and the Ten Bears make a blood oath to live in peace. Wales rescues Travis and Chato and brings them back to the ranch. Meanwhile, a bounty hunter shot by Wales in Santo Rio leads Captain Terrell and his men to the city. The next morning, the Redlegs make a surprise attack on the farm. Wells' men fire from the fortified farmhouse, and Terrell's men shoot them all down. Wounded and out of bullets, Wales follows the fleeing Terrell back to Santo Rio. As he surrounded him, Wales fired his four pistols through every empty chambers before sealing them. As Terrell draws up his cavalry, Wales grabs his arm and, after a slow struggle, plunges a knife into Terrell's chest, finally avenging his family. Back at the Santa Rio Saloon, Wells, along with two Texas Rangers, finds the locals telling Fletcher how an outlaw named Josie Wells had recently been killed by five pistoleros in Monterey. 
The Rangers accept the story with a signed affidavit and move on, while Fletcher says nothing about Wales and pretends not to recognize him. After the Rangers ride off, Fletcher says he will go to Mexico to find Wales himself and try to tell him the war is over. Wales says, I think so. I guess we all died a little in that damn war, before riding off. The film was adapted by Sonia Chernus and Philip Kaufman from the novel The Rebel Outlaw, Josie Wales, by author Asa Earl Forrest Carter. In 1996, the film was selected by the Library of Congress as culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant for preservation in the United States National Film Registry. Michael Parks played Josie Wales in the 1986 film The Return of Josie Wales.